Welcome to the best incorporated soldering tip of the day. Your instructor for this procedure is Norman Meir, Master IPC Trainer. Today's soldering tip is the installation of a TSOP32 using the point-to-point -point method. This TSOP component has leads which have a pitch of 20 mil. This component is considered to be a fine pitch component. To complete this procedure, your instructor will be using a lead-free solder in .01 diameter, a bent conical soldering iron tip, and no clean flux. The first step in any soldering procedure is to clean the area being soldered. Using a lint-free cloth and isopropyl alcohol, wipe the area clean of any residues or contaminants which may interfere with a good solder connection. On this circuit board, pin 1 is indicated by a small triangle. The component has a round indentation which also indicates pin 1. Aligning these orientation marks will ensure proper component orientation and polarity. Align the component to the pads. While some misalignment is acceptable, the further off the pads the component is, the more chance there is for bridging between non-common conductors. Next, flux all the leads. Gently hold the component in place using a tweezers or other fine pointed tool. Tack the component in place at several leads on both sides of the component. The tack is used to temporarily hold the component in place while the rest of the leads are processed. Place the solder wire across the lead at the toe equal to 100% the width of the lead. Contact the lead, pad, and solder at the same time and allow the solder to flow to the heel of the component. When all the leads are soldered on one side of the component, rotate the component and solder all the leads on the opposite side. Clean the component using a brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the area dry with a lint-free cloth. Inspect the solder connection according to the appropriate IPC class standards. This has been a best incorporated soldering tip of the day. Installation of a TSOP32 using the point-to-point -point method. For more information and training, please visit our website at www.solder.net.